Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. Good vibrations for the Aquarius. Healing vibrations. Seven of Pentacles. I just did a reading, a collective reading, and the Seven of Pentacles came out for Aquarius. So Aquarius, restrictions. You're in a holding place, or you need to put some restrictions on yourself, maybe your money. You need to reevaluate some things, okay? Um, maybe the universe is asking you to hold back. Uh, finish what you start but hold back this might just be a period where there's no communication or not a lot of activity it is going to frustrate you uh, and also because you're waiting some of you are waiting for money large sum of money it says harvest is here either for some of you or it's coming but the universe wants you to have expressed knowledge of what you're going to do how you're going to act how your character will be when things change for you when your fortune changes hmm. what else you want to tell aquarius yep wow page of wands a, a large sum of money money coming to you good vibrations good news uh promotion starting a new business back to expressed knowledge not just knowledge in your head but it needs to be expressed it should be easily um ac accessible meaning put it on paper um so the universe wants you to things are going to turn around for you. your life is going to be different you're going to be able to live life on your own terms but they also want you to govern yourself accordingly okay basically if we just put it you know in that way let's see what else is going on wow knight of cups here it looks like you're going to get inspiration download from the universe you'll be able to do some creative work or you'll come up with creative ideas to um make money this also could be invitation uh this could even be um, a date this could be dating someone falling in love or someone wooing you you wooing someone um someone being very gentleman-like or ladylike with you somebody's trying to get you to um you know basically fall in love with them the universe wants you to have realistic expectations in love though not just be caught up in the newness because these two cards talk about a lot of newness the page of wands talks about again good news in love meeting someone new maybe even reconciling with someone you know it being hot and heavy y'all jump into the bed a little too fast everything is going fast and then it fizzles out just as fast so they want you to be grounded okay so they want you to stop and think about this you know how how do you make it long term and the universe might be putting obstacles between the two of you so that you can learn something individually so that you can then come back together and there will be groundedness um the, the nine of cups also they have unrealistic expectations in love they like the newness of love but then they realize it's a relationship and you have to maintain it and hmm i'm not interested anymore so that could be you it could be someone else the knight of cups is aquarius and scorpio especially in love so i don't know you know uh, could be you the ten of swords they want you um to understand that maybe a tough time a rough time a turbulent time a time where you didn't get what you wanted where you were greatly disappointed things fell apart it was collapse it was calamity it was backstabbing it was this you weren't chosen it, all of that is over you went through it it's done it's over you don't have to keep reliving it now you can if you want to but you don't have to is what the cards are saying in the ten of swords okay um what else do we have here uh also okay i'm getting even if this relationship doesn't go to marriage and longevity it you don't have to look at it as a failure every ending is not a failure you met them you had good time it didn't work move on learn how to cut and you know cut dry is what i heard i you know, i don't know cut dry whatever let's see um the king of swords okay so you're dealing with somebody who 
uh they get a lot of inspiration from the divine here this is um the, the king who wears the purple robe so the robe of royalty divinity okay uh, spirituality um look at that eagle there this could be somebody that you're going to mate with because the eagle's mate for life unless of course something happens to one of the eagles right um this could be somebody who's handsome tall um maybe even has dark hair this is somebody who's serious ambitious they look at themselves as just being like you know a nomad like they just move around they engage in relationships but nothing really sticks um this is the eternal bachelor and but if this person ever does decide to settle they have high standards for themselves and for their partner and they're extremely loyal um possessive you know but not in a way of you can't do anything can't go anywhere but um you will be protected um let's see what else do we have for aquarius yeah six of swords so it's like um move on head over heart decision to move on uh to not hang in the energy of the ten of swords so maybe with the king of swords here with that that purple cloak or robe there you need to rest in spirituality divinity to help you move on from uh previous uh hurt or hurt from previous relationship you just need to make sense of moving on that's what the six of swords says and it also says maybe you even have to move on knowing that you um you didn't get what you wanted somebody else you know you were defeated maybe some, something else was chosen but you need to heal and move on for some of you you have that caduceus there in the back so it's like yeah some of you really need to you need to move on you need to heal um what what is aquarius moving on from okay. six of pentacles not getting enough um maybe a not something where there was um a power dynamic so it was like either you or the other person was over the relationship or the other person it was was an equal give and take it was an equality it was more so you know um it was one-sided so you need to move on from that why is aquarius needing to move on from that the page of pentacles something else better um there's something better here there's something more consistent here there's also you needing to learn consistency here also what what is the page of pentacles here you need to learn you need to move on from this to bring balance okay oh to restore balance to heal to find consistency what is okay five of pentacles some of you were dealing with somebody who didn't choose you and you feel used about it you feel like you know they used you they, they took your time they took your energy your love your essence and they gave nothing back but people who are strong and they self-worth can never be used um, there could have been a power dynamic here where maybe you had more to offer than the other person Aquarius so all they knew how to do was take you were giving they took therefore and in the end you felt used you felt for some of you maybe even depleted but if you would have come into the situation knowing I have more to offer than the other I'm probably going to be the one offering i'm probably going to be the one doing i'm probably going to be the one asked of more you know i'm probably going to be the one in the power seat you know um driving this relationship whether it was money or love or time or whatever it was if you had more than that that you know what is that saying um to those who have more more is required or something like that so anyway um you should have gone into the relationship maybe with a different perspective knowing that okay yeah this is the apple cart is already upset 
you know, it's not balanced. It's not fair. Um, I have more to offer this person and this relationship. I'm probably going to not be happy with that. So I need to either set firm boundaries up front or just not engage at all. And maybe this is the lesson with the seven of pentacles you needed to learn. Um, it's for some of you, the seven and the five, it's like you knew that this person was maybe taking you for granted or just taking you for a ride or just didn't want what you wanted, um, was a covert narcissist. Um, they like to see you just give, give, give. Um, they like to take your energy, your essence. You bring something to the table again and, and they were just taking, um, so you need to learn that, you know, this is what you need to learn. You need to move on from that. And when you engage in a new relationship, then you know that, um, you need to set firm boundaries. You know, um, what I'm doing is, you know, you need to evaluate. So you have to firstly figure out if when you meet a person, is this somebody you want to know long-term? So that might take a day or two. It doesn't take that long, right? And it could even take a day. It could take a damn hour, really. So if you want to know them long term or whatnot, you need to know some background, a little bit of history. It doesn't have to be an interrogation. Um, it could be a conversation, but you can start asking about exes, you know, you know, um, you, small playful banter about exes. You need to evaluate the ex because if the ex wasn't shit, didn't have a job, was this, was that, was horrible. And of course you're getting a one-sided story and, and you, and they, and then the person follows up with, but I stayed and I love them. Eh, that might be a little bit toxic because I'm not any of that. I'm going to be so much better, different from what you stayed in. Therefore, I might be put in a place where you're not ready for me. And then I'll be in a place of being used. So you have to evaluate people's history. Character is historical reference. So you need to know some historical reference about these people before you just completely jump out of the window for them and be everything that they never had because they might just be comfortable with bullshit. And that is just that. I don't know who that's for, but it's for somebody. I don't know. Um, you got a lot of pentacles showing up. Eight of pentacles. It's like some of you are like in some never ending story, never ending type of energy and meeting new people. But it's like the, it's a new person, but the same dynamic, the same personality, the same situation. This could even be going through the same issues with the same person over and over again. Okay. Um, this is all a test for you to learn how to, for some of you, govern yourself accordingly, maybe even govern your emotions accordingly. Um, don't always go to the emotional outburst, but hold it down. Um, the, the passion and the, the desire, the lust to blow up so that you can get your way or someone will hear you or that you will now be seen you know, is uh, sometimes it's not always interpreted the way you thought it would be interpreted. Um, there's somebody here who wants another chance with you, but you've rejected them or they, they feel like if they come towards you, it's too late or you will reject them. They're absolutely sad about you. They want to surprise you with a message. Maybe of how they've changed or how they think about you. They think about you when they're sleeping. They think about your future. They think about everything. They could even be kind of hovering, um, watching from afar. Yeah, this is somebody who feels like they missed opportunity with you. And um, maybe you guys ended on not such a great note. Uh, and they just fantasize about coming towards you, but they're, they're doing nothing. It's a lot of fantasy and dreamy type of energy because they know that they'll be met with the queen of swords. Okay. And they're, they're really like, they want to have sex with you. This is, um, 
it's uh i don't know who this is but it's like somebody wants to come back they want another chance they want another try it is what it is blah 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 um aquarius you might have somebody new coming in with a lot of old people because they're feeling the vibration of maybe you actually healing and once you heal you're going to get exactly what you want aquarius once you actually learn the lesson you're going to get what you want and the little feelers the little demons and the minions they've been you know speaking to these people in their ear telling them to come and you know request you on this site and text you and email you and so so that's why you're getting um oh as i said that my
Mm-hmm.